In this video, we will learn how to configure my i3 theme, we will be using this repository this video and the next one. In order to enable the transparencies we have to install a compositor, the best compositor for i3 is PCOM, formerly known as CompTOM. To display the menus we will need Rofi, the most recent version is 1.7.5, but Debian only has version 1.7.3. However in my experience, there is not much difference between these two versions, so we can install it from the package manager. In addition to Rofi, we will need these packages. GPIC allows us to copy colors. The font awesome is for the bar, but for some reason in Debian it doesn't work well, so I don't recommend you to install it. In my case I didn't know it at this point, and that's why I installed it. I also recommend you to install Flameshot, because it will allow you to make screenshots with more options. In case you are on Fedora, Arch or Void, you will need to install the SysStat package, as it allows you to monitor the amount of CPU used. In the case of Debian this package is already installed by default. The next step is to install Green Clip. This is a daemon that allows us to create the clipboard manager with Rofi. Fortunately this executable was created in Haskell, so it can be used in basically any distribution. We download it and add it to the path. In my case, I am going to create a folder called Ben inside the hidden folder local. For i3, to recognize the executable, we must add it to the path, I will do it in the X session file, that was explained in the last video. Do not define this in the zsh configuration file, because it will not work, since the path must have loaded green clip before i3 is executed, and the zsh file is configured after i3, and that is why it does not work. Do not forget to give GreenClip execution permissions. You can read the documentation in case you have doubts about this file. In my case, I will leave it like this. It is important that the path of the images is this one, since this path is also used by the plugin that allows us to select the history of images. The next step is to download my personal i3 configuration, so we proceed to make a backup of the current configuration and then clone my repository. We move to the binaries folder and check that they all have execute permissions. After that, we link these binaries to the path, in my case, I will do it in the same location as green clip. The pcom file is not an executable, so we can remove the link. The pcom configuration file has to be linked in the hidden config folder. Once this is done, we reload i3 using the mod, shift and our keys. The next step is to activate the PCOM compositor. Indeed, everything works correctly. My i3 configuration file is modularized, so it is very easy to modify and read. The next step is to configure the i3 blocks bar. We do this by cloning the repository in the indicated location. Once downloaded, we proceed to restart i3 again. For some reason, the bar does not work. 
When this kind of errors happen, it is usually due to the versions, so that is the first thing you have to check. And indeed, I have version 1.4 installed, while the configuration I have needs 1.5. Since version 1.5 is not available in the Debian package manager, we will have to proceed to compile the program. To compile, we need the build essential tools and the specific dependencies of each package. In this case, we need the autoconf package. Once the dependencies are installed, we proceed with the compilation process indicated by the repository. In this case, we also need the package, package config, this was not in the repository, but googling the error that I got in the terminal I could deduce it. Actually, you can google the errors or use ChatGPT, these are normal things that every Linux user should learn. Generally the last step of every installation is the make install which should almost always be executed with administrator permissions since this command generally copies the executables to the path, and as you should already know, these directories can only be modified by the administrator. Once this is done, restart i3 and now it should work. Indeed, at least it doesn't show errors anymore. The problem now are the fonts, that for some reason, the awesome fonts do not work in Debian, so we will have to use another font.